All right, so I'm going to go through how to exempt users from a validation rule using a permission set, which is something that you might want to do at some point and realize that it's not as easy as it sounds. So I'm gonna go through a use case right now and show you exactly how to do this. So this is a validation rule that is restricting the status on the account of pre-qualified. So we can see is changed status. So is the, is the status field changed? And is the status changed to the pre-qualified pick list value? And is the user ID not this list of users? So basically, uh, you know, user ID not equal. We got the 15 digit user ID. And any of the users listed here are going to be exempt from this validation rule, right? So anybody except these users is going to be blocked when they try to mark as pre-qualified. So as you can see, I'm not listed here. So if I try to mark the pre-qualified status right now, we're gonna hit the validation. <gasps> no, right? So, but basically, what if you keep getting requests to add more and more people to this list of users, right? There's no rhyme or reason to them. It's kind of random users with different profiles and roles. You know, uh, it would make sense if you could give them, just give a group of users a permission set instead of hard coding 20 users into this validation rule, right? That's not very scalable, hard to manage. So, but if you try and just be like, oh, well, let's see, maybe we can just add a, let's see, you know, okay, user, do you have, the permission set, you know, but you'll quickly find that there is no permission set element in here to add. <clears throat> but I'm going to show you the workaround. What we're going to do is this. The first thing is we're going to create a custom permission because custom permissions, unlike permission sets, can be called from a validation rule. So let's call it prequal permission. And I have a description here. Oh, no, I don't, apparently. Okay. Uh, permission to mark pre qualified status on account. Ta da. There we go. So now we got this custom permission. That's all we have to do with the custom permission. You don't have to know anything about custom permissions, it just has to exist because this we actually can reference from the validation rule. So now we're gonna create the permission set, and this is the permission set which is going to contain that custom permission, right? So let's also call the permission set. Uh, let's do prequel permission set, and create the permission set. And now we're going to go to custom permissions, and we're gonna click edit, and we're going to add the one that we just created, prequal permission. So now that custom permission is in this permission set. That's all that's gonna be in it. And we can manage the assignments and assign it to all of the users that were on that page, right? So I'm just gonna assign it to myself here, but um, Basically, all of the users that you wanted to exempt from the validation rule, you would assign this permission set to, obviously, right? So now, if we go back to the account validation rule, we can go right here. And now we're gonna insert a field and you'll see that there's a permission element here that wasn't there before because we didn't have any custom permissions, but all it's gonna show you is custom permissions. So we can add the prequel permissions. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna say not permission.prequel permission. And what that is going to do is say, basically this is checking, does the running user have the prequel permission, custom permission. And the only reason they would have that is if they have the permission set that we just assigned the users that we want to have it. So 
it'll return a true or false value. So basically that's why we're saying not permission, prequel permission. This user does not have that permission set. So we can just get rid of this part entirely and look how much nicer that looks. Much simpler, you don't need to list 20 user IDs and have all the commenting. Now, if we go over here, we should be able to mark pre-qualified. Hey, there we go. So we got past the validation because we have the permission set and that is how it's done. So I hope this is helpful. I have found this really helpful because we get a lot of requests like this, <laughs> you know, like people with four different profiles uh, and roles and everything needing, uh, needing access to get, you know, bypass a certain validation or something like that. So anyway, yeah, that's it. Thanks.